uh, good day everyone and my name is Ahmed Jassat and I would just like to go through with you and share with you uh, the project that I was busy working with it was purging Oracle eBusiness Suite. Uh, who am I? My name is Ahmed Jassat and I was fortunate to be in the Oracle EBS industry for a long time and work on various and numerous projects and I am passionate about Oracle and I love sharing my information and assisting my fellow colleagues in this industry. Right. The challenges we have is that our file systems were growing. Uh, a lot of files on the test space. So when consultants to run the ls command or find command on the APPL CSF directory, uh, the system hangs, right? And maintenance and we need to be proactive, you know, to show our value in the organization and where we work as well. Right. Remember, the better the e-business product is, uh, the better for the industry as well, for the Oracle industry as well. Now, to the next screen. We as DBAs, we only, I should I say, we only know and told about the purge concurrent request with an age of 60 to 90 days. Right. And what I found is that this is the normal job that we run and it's fine and there's no issue. DBAs can run this job. But what was happening is the file systems were growing and we needed to find out why were they growing and what was using the space. All right. So <laughs> the current uh, settings that I had was uh, push concurrent request or log and out files for 30 days. Right. As, as you can see, default 30 days. Right, so now we come to the advanced purging, is that some requests run daily. They create thousands of logs and, and out files and they cause performance issues. And these are generally custom programs or alerts. Right? Now this, this is the script to check, right, which you can find as well and you can download and just copy and paste and use it. That the top running concurrent request in your system for the last 30 days, it's a brilliant script. All right. And as you can see in my one, I ran it. The top one is check event alert, which runs 67,573 times in the last month. That means it creates over 1.2 million login out files, request test stage, workflow background process, order import, and the list goes on. All right. So now this is an example how to purge the concurrent manager per request, right? So you, you choose in, you know, submit request, purge concurrent request or manage data, right? In the parameters, you put the number of days, right? So try to keep it as low as possible. I suggest keeping it three or 10, or, but three is fine. And the program there, in which program does this request live in? And the program is check event alert. And the benefits are huge. I mean, just to give you an example of mine, my APPL CSF directory was sitting at 1.8 million files. After I ran this, it went right down on all the programs, it went right down to 800,000 files. Right. Huge benefit on performance. Purge for high concurrent requests, housekeeping, you being proactive, saving on this space, and no more thousands of files in the APPL CSF directory. So uh, thank you for viewing this video, and uh, there's my YouTube uh, page. Please view it for all, uh, you know, my sharing sessions. There's my name and my number if you want to call me and give me feedback and my email address. And let's share information. Remember, the better the Oracle product, the better for the industry. Thank you, and bye-bye.